Hello Crusaders, how are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for being here. It truly does mean a lot that you guys have taken time out of your day to click on my video. For all of you new subscribers who have come from Thunderstruck Gaming's channel when he posted my my very first video on that channel, I do welcome you and I thank you guys so much for giving my channel a chance. I do apologize that I haven't posted anything here on my gaming channel for a little while. I've been really busy with work and everything. I'm a college student and I got a lot going on, but uh, hopefully you guys do understand and are willing to work with me. I'm still trying to find that perfect upload schedule, so just hang in there with me. Keep on giving me the benefit of the doubt. We will work out some things. To get on to the task at hand, I was on Facebook the other day and I happened to come across a Daddy? meme um, a, a picture full of like a bunch of single player games uh, that are notorious for their single player campaign modes and um, it was basically just uh, talking about how we don't need all the multiplayer games and all of the the heavy heavy emphasis on multiplayer what we really need as gamers is a really strong storyline a really strong campaign and that's why I chose The Last of Us for gameplay today I know most of this gameplay is um is mostly cutscenes, you know, a lot of introductory to the game because it's the very first mission. Uh, it's the very first, like, uh, prologue, I think that's the right word, uh, to the game. But uh, I chose to use The Last of Us because it won a ton of awards and it's a very highly revered game um, for its single player. So, and so I got thinking, I was like, you know, there is a lot of truth to this. And even though I play a lot of Call of Duty, I love a awesome single player campaign story mode. I was really disappointed when I, was, when I first got Black Ops 3. I waited, I pre-ordered the game. My gir my girlfriend and I, uh, well she's my fiance now, but my girlfriend at the time, um, she was with me and we waited until after midnight to pick up the game as soon as it launched. I was so excited to get into it. I heard about the co-op campaign mode. I was so happy about that because Call of Duty hadn't done that since, uh, since I think... Uh, World at War, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was World at War was the last, um, and I think the only other co-op campaign, it may have been Call of Duty 3, I can't remember, but there was a Call of Duty that had a co-op mode, Are you okay? and so I was really excited about that, got it home, you know, didn't play the campaign the entire time, 24-7, but I ended up beating it in like a week or two with one of my with one of my buddies. We only played it together because uh, it was co-op, and I thought the campaign absolutely sucked. I could not stand it. There was no there was no gripping storytelling. There was no gripping emotional pull on the characters like I felt so many times with Captain Price and Soap McTavish and Ghost and Roach, and Alex Mason, and um, and. Uh, Stuff like that, you know, p characters like that that people in the Call of Duty community grew to love and appreciate uh, throughout the time that they played those games. And, and I really feel like Treyarch highly missed the mark um, on the emotional, impactful campaigns that I'm used to Call of Duty having. So it was really disappointing. And I guess this picture that I saw on Facebook made me realize uh, just how disappointing it has become. And I guess I want to pick on Call of Duty a little bit. I'm a huge Call of Duty fanboy. I have been for most of my life. But uh, bear with me for a second while I pick on Call of Duty because, like I've just mentioned, Call of Duty, they've always had gripping storytelling. They've always had real emotional pulls on their characters. You really connected. It felt like you could really connect and relate and root for these guys that you were playing as throughout the game as you progressed, as you progressed through the game. And, you know, getting Black Ops 3, I expecting nothing less. I had very high expectations, as a matter of fact, for the campaign because I was used to playing uh, campaigns such as the Modern Warfare series and, and the Black Ops series. And so to, to see just how disappointing um, Black Ops 3's campaign was just really put a damper on what, how I feel they are approaching uh, Call of Duty these days, and the reason why I'm picking on Call of Duty is because they have now entered the esports scene, as you all know. I mean, they have been for a while, but Black Ops 2 really hit it off and really made Call of Duty what it is now, uh, as far as esports is concerned. And so I feel like uh, Call, Call of Duty developers are catering more and more towards uh, esports aspects of the game, which means they're going to be focusing a lot more on multiplayer than they used to because esports is such a big revenue for Call of Duty and Activision these days. And because of that, I feel like they, they think so much and focus so much on multiplayer that they've become really lackluster 
in their ability to create that same emotional pull in their campaign and with their characters like I've seen so many times before. It really makes me worry about the state of single player games in the gaming community right now. Uh, now I know we have Fallout, uh, The Witcher 3, and you know games like that, The Last of Us, uh, the Nathan Drake series, uh, you know the Uncharted series, different games like that. And I know we still have a lot of single player games that are really revered um, and are still really highly successful today but it makes me wonder and worry that as a community overall are game development teams are they losing their ability to come to come up with um, really high character arcing emotionally pulling uh, aspects of their single, single player modes to appease a whole different part of a community of gamers who only care about esports and things like that. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I really love multiplayer. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've played multiplayer games since Black Ops 2. Uh, I, I love multiplayer aspects of games and I have a lot of fun on those games. But there comes a time where I just want to put those games down and really dive in to a strong, emotional pulling game where I can just spend hours and hours playing it and then replay it. Guys, when Call of Duty 2 came out, uh, I played it on the PlayStation 2, and I am not kidding you when I say I lost track of how many times I beat that game after the 15th time. I loved that game. It was the PlayStation 2 version, but I didn't care. I felt emotionally connected to the characters. It was just a small squad of soldiers set in World War II, and I felt such a strong emotion for these characters, and I was rooting for them. And then one, when one of the main characters died, I was literally sad as a child, you know, or as a preteen when I was playing these games. I was legitimately sad that these characters got killed off, and, I, and it, it was really one of the first games that really gave me that much sense of emotion for a character that was fiction, for a for an animated CGI character that you know was that didn't even exist in real life, and so. That's when I really, really became involved in not only single player campaigns, but especially in single player first person campaigns, first person shooter campaigns, because I loved feeling that emotional pull. I, I, it was like being able to watch a movie or a television show, but play along, act along, and be a part of that movie or television show experience. So uh, hopefully this guy's... This makes sense to you guys. Um, this vi this uh, video was a lot longer than I planned on it being, but I did want to uh, talk about this. Ever since I saw this picture on Facebook, it's been something that I wanted to get off my chest. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it and um, have some of your own opinions to add to this video, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this topic and about uh, if you are worried for the state of single player games in the gaming community and if such an emphasis on multiplayer experiences is taking over um, from a from a chance to experience a truly gripping campaign experience. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much for being here and for all you newcomers, thank you for becoming subscribers, for becoming crusaders. It truly does mean so much to me. So without further ado, go ahead and have an awesome day everybody. Be blessed. If you did enjoy the video, please don't hesitate to like it or dislike it. And if you dislike it, please, please, please tell me in the comments below why you dislike it and um, how I can change something that I need to change so that you guys will continue to come back to watch more videos. Go and have an awesome day everybody. This has been Eli Crusaders. Goodbye.